Thanks for tuning in for another 22 WRX video. In the last video, we installed a Stitch Boots Alcantara shift boot. In this one, we're going to be finishing the install by installing their e brake boot. So let's just jump right to it. We're going to go inside the car and take the factory one off. And then I'll bring you guys to the bench and we'll compare the Alcantara one with the factory one. So inside the vehicle, we are at the e brake boot. It's just like the previous years, you just have to pull up on the trim and it's just going to unclip all the way around. So let's see if I can get my, yeah, I need two hands for this. So let me get you guys set up and we'll get this pulled out. All right, so we're at the bench. You can see we have the factory e-brake right here. So you can see the stitch is black. Everything is just glued on. So we're gonna have to pry all this off and put this on. Um, so I do have some uh, trim adhesive I'll show you in just a sec. But this is the Stitch Boots. It has a nice red stitch, same template. So, yep, so let's start getting this pried off. Oh, let me show you the adhesive real quick. So what I'm going to be using is this 3M Yellow Super Trim Adhesive. Um, it says it's for automotive materials. I picked this up at Advance. So I used this on a previous vehicle where I did a similar, um, similar thing with the interior. So this should work just fine on this. So let's get uh, to work getting this pried off and then we'll get to work on getting it cleaned up and uh, we'll get this glued right on. So. Let's get to work. Now that we got everything removed, it just took some prying on the side. And then once we got a good grip, we could just like peel it off. So side by side, you can see it's actually like an exact copy. Even with like these little frays, it's exactly the same. So this is going to be a nice upgrade to match the rest of the interior and the shift boot. So... Let's get to work on uh, cleaning this up, this up a little bit. I'm just gonna scuff it up and uh, then I'll put some stuff down. We'll spray this and uh, we'll set it on and should be good to go from then. We'll let it, once we get it everything on, then we'll let it sit, let it dry of course, and then we'll get it put in the car. So let me get you guys set up again. Let's get to work. So 
It has been drying for about 20 minutes. We have it all glued on. See, it's just like the factory one, all the little cuts and seams. It looks great. So let's get this, uh, let me get you set up and let's get this clipped in the car. Should be pretty simple and we'll go from there. Let's see what it looks like. have it it's installed it looks great all matches now so everything has this red stitching in it so overall this is a 10 out of 10 looks great so that's all i got for you guys on this one today just putting on that e-brake boot so other than that make sure to like comment and subscribe for more 2022 dubrix content we have more to come let's get it